Limit from graph. Question 9. A function y equals to f of x exists such that f of 2 equals to 2 and limit of the function when x approaches 2 minus, that means from the left side, is equal to the limit of the function when x approaches 2 from the plus side and the limit is 4. Sketch a possible graph of y equals to f of x. What type of discontinuity does y of f of x have? Now this question is kind of different. In the earlier questions we were given the graph and we were trying to find out the limits. Here limit is given to us and we need to sketch the graph. That makes it very interesting, right? So the information given to us is kind of like this. One is that the function y equals to f of x exists such that f of 2 is 2. That means the value add to the value of the function is 2. So 1 f of 2 is 2. Second limit of the function as x approaches 2 is 4 from both the sides, right? So second is limit when x approaches 2 whether from negative side or from positive side for the function is actually 4. So limit also exists. But what we note here is that the limit is not equal to value of the function, right? So this is kind of very important. So what we note here, so note limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is not equals to the value of the function at 2. This is kind of most important thing you observe. That means there is a discontinuity. This implies a discontinuity. And what type of discontinuity? That is part B. What type of discontinuity it has? This is called jump discontinuity. Now, I'm answering all these questions first and then sketch a possible graph of this function. Then I'll sketch the graph of this function so that you understand and appreciate whatever I've written here, right? So let me give you. Possible graph gives you a hint that there could be more than one graph, correct? So let's make a couple of graphs which could meet the situation, right? And I'll recommend you to draw some graphs on your own, correct? So let's say this is my x values, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is my y values, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me make more because we already have a function. With, okay, so I just extended it. So this is x and that is my y. Now it says the value of the function at f2, it is 2. So at 2, the value is 2. So this point is given to us. Now it says... When you approach 2 from negative side, you come to a value 4, not here. So this is 2 for us and this is 4 for us, right? Here we have 0. So you actually approach this point, not this point. That is what the question is saying. Whether you approach from left side or from right side, you approach this point. So I may make a hole here because actual value at 2 is this, not that. Now the function is seems to be here with a hole at this is the point 2 right x2 we have a function approaching this so this could be kind of if I draw a horizontal line here like this how about this that means it will meet the criteria right I think so so we can write our function f of x as equals to a piecewise function piecewise in a sense that x f of at, at x we, we can write like this f of x equals to 2 for x equals to 2 and it's equals to 4 for x not equal to 2. So anywhere else it is just 4. So that is a piecewise function which kind of represents the situation. Do you see that? So this could be one graph, right? Let me draw another one for you, right? Let me make it in a better, neater place and this time with a smaller scale. So we have smaller vertical, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, correct? Now, two things are given to us. One is that 
the value at 2 is 2. So this is definitely the value of the function f of x. So let me write f of x here, right? Second, it is the limit of the function at 2 is actually 4. So there is a hole here at 4, correct? So that is the second thing. Now what we can draw here is we can draw a function which kind of goes like this, like a straight line. Okay, so and we can write or describe our function. We can describe it like this: that f of x is equals to a piecewise function, where it is equals to two for x equals to two. And let us say at two we want it to approach four, so we say it is equals to two x when x is not equal to 2. So any other value when x is not equal to 2, it is 2x. So so we have a hole here because this is not defined at 2, but at 2 we have a fixed value which is a hole. Do you see that? So this is a way to do it and one more graph I'll draw for you, right? And first I'll draw the graph for you and then and then fill it. So we say on the graph we have a hole and this hole exists. So the function you are approaching 4, do you see that? But at 2 the real value is 2, not 4. So that is our function also, right? So we could say, well this function, this graph is x squared for example. So 2 squared is 4, right? So it is x squared when f of x is not equal to 2 you can write like this n is equals to 2 when it is 2. Do you see that? So you can write this function also. We'll write f of x equals to piecewise function where it is equals to x square for x not equal to 2 but it is equal to 2 for x equals to 2, right? So there are so many different ways of meeting the criteria given here in question 9. But important thing to understand here is that there is definitely a discontinuity since the limit of the function is not equal to the value of the function, right? And all these three graphs represents the situation given to us. And I hope they help you to understand what we are trying to say, right? Share it with your friends and I hope you appreciate it. Thank you. All the best.